Let's get this figured out This world gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Family be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn it love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for peeps Madden Heads YouTube, what's going on? It is your boy, Coach DC, coming back at you today with another video. And today, we'll get into the breaks of Madden. You know, as so we get late into this thing, and I start hearing about all the stuff that's going on at EA, and they laying off people, and I'm like, man, this, is, this stuff is crazy. Yeah, man, prayers up to those folks, but yeah, man, it's, it's, the breaks of Madden is crazy, because it's like, some games you play this game, man, and it, you know, your mechanics are good, you do the things you're supposed to do, you're right there for the pick, and yeah, nothing happens. <laughs> man, you gotta roll with the punches on this thing, because then sometimes, you know, you, you get one or two. You know, so you got to learn how to play through the algorithms, um, the scripting. I guess they're just never going to address the momentum thing just like ever. I guess that is like something that's non-negotiable because <laughs> really that's what's killing this game. All the, the the game is basically a game of breaks. And so what it entails is like, all right, the play that you don't make or, or, or do make yeah, or the play that you don't make will turn around eventually will kill you yeah in this game mm -hmm. you you get your hands on a pick that's a sure shot pick user control all that stuff and then drop it boy you know the touchdown or the blown coverage is coming after it like but i mean all in all it's it's a beautiful game when it works and then ultimately it's a terrible game when it doesn't because it's like okay the common sense stuff doesn't work uh, Sometimes I think the game is like catered to the suspense or the drama of, of Madden. That's what they want. They want it to be dramatic. You ever been playing a game and you just like you're up or something and then you just you, you drop a pick or something, boy. And that momentum it's like that one play. Just yeah, that one play. It, it, it kills everything. <laughs> Man, that was a crazy animation by Watson right there. See, this is what I enjoy when I play the game, man. It's like. I, I play with it bring me to another point I play with like the, the subpar teams because I, I just missed the, the days of Madden when you could go out and you could play with the Texans or the Titans or when, back when they were sorry I mean they're alright on this game but you could just play with any team and, and like me and my partners we would get together man and I mean like we would liter literally play with the worst teams on the game because it would increase our skill level you know, it's like you can make it work with this team. You can make it work with with anybody. And so that's why y'all see me out here a lot rolling with the Jets and, and all that stuff. But it's a lot that comes with that because it's like, boy, you you them breaks and stuff go against you. And it's like, like I said, you could throw a pick. I'm fine with the pick. See us come in and get the strip. But what? Yeah. And then it turns into a touchdown. Seven nothing game. I would have been fine with just throwing the pick, you know, but. You get to towards the end of the game and it's stuff like this. Now, I got to come out here and do all this stuff just to, to give myself a chance at the end. I think I pulled this one out too. Yep. Give myself a chance at the end. But again, I, you got to challenge yourself in this game. If you, you really want to be like really great at this game, you got to come to Coach DC 404, of course. But, you know, you got to challenge yourself. And so like even in now, this is the most probably the most frustrating part of the game to me is the click on process and, and getting the, the other guys that you click to, you know, not the user into position to make a play. And it's like there are ways to get them to respond, but it's like certain times in the script cheese, certain times in the game where it's like, you cannot get a defender to respond. And it, even if he does, he's not going to do anything. It's like he, he just kind of drifts and stands there, and, you know. And see, I, it 
for me, I'm, I'm the person or I'm one of those people who, if it's not me, I'm not going to complain about a, a AI or a non-user control guy too tough. You know, if unless he's just not in position that he's supposed to be in. Now, if I put him in a position he's supposed to be in and for some reason I don't click to him and he doesn't make a play, those I kind of I expect Madden to do that. But when I click to the guy and I jump in front and, you know, I'm, I'm coming towards the ball. No, I, I, I want that play to be made, man. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Just like that. I'm learning a lot about playing like. You, you, this is something you guys might want to experiment. Start playing with guys other than, you know, other than the safety, other than the uh, middle linebackers. Start playing with some of your curl flat guys and you just dominate that space over there. You you have a better gauge of what's happening with the play and how far you can cheat and, and you know, how quickly you can respond as opposed to. You know, always relying on the game because, like I said, the game sometimes, man, boy, this this game will do you. I mean, in a major way. Have <laughs> playoff game yesterday, man. I was down like, I think I was down twenty eight zip in like two minutes into the game or something like that. Twenty one zip, two minutes into the game, man. I'm talking about crazy run, a pick, and like a fumble on the kickoff. <laughs> it was a wrap. I was like. I ain't have a chance, but yeah, man. But most of the time, like I said, if you, you, your mechanics are good, you're going to get a level of consistency that will keep you in every single game for the most part. Yeah. You're, unless you just making a lot of bad reads, a lot of mistakes, you're not going to throw a lot of picks. Um, you just have to really be engaged into, um, like I said, man, y- y'all got to listen to listen to this stuff or the stuff that I try to tell you without telling you here on YouTube. The buttons, all this stuff is pressure sensitive. It's pr- the stick is pressure sensitive. Everything on this game pretty much is pressure sensitive. Look at Madden, man. Yeah, let me make that throw a dime like that, and then you ain't gonna let him get his feet down. Even though I'm pulling him back in bounds to get his feet down with the secure catch. Yeah couldn't challenge there either but you know like i said and then in other cases it's like you can you can you know you get your step right in order and and you up running back no abilities no nothing i mean that's that's a running back yeah so like i said i mean but that doesn't that doesn't bode well to the narrative of you gotta pay to get these guys to do this stuff that's why i only get like 400 500 views if y'all really knew how this advertising stuff, I need to shut up. If y'all really knew how this advertising stuff worked, though, like like just everybody, if y'all knew how this stuff worked, man, and how uh, people are in, engaged or, or in bed, one hand washes the other with this stuff, and how people don't get paid, man, y'all would really be tripping. Uh, that's interesting. That's why I do my own thing. But anyway, yeah, man. Right there, you, I mean, you can just perform, like I said, any mechanic on here is crazy. Oh, Kenny G. Yeah, y'all know about Kenny G, boy, out there with the, the Kenny G, the, the saxophonist. Was he saxophonist, trumpet player? Horn player, yeah. Kenny G, man, y'all look him up. Anyway, man, happy Saturday. Coach DC 404, I'm out.